Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Gabriel and today we're doing another Divine Masculine Energy reading for this week. This is meant to be a timeless reading, so even if you're finding this reading um, at a different time than uh, it is uploaded, it's there's still a message for you here. And this also applies to you if you are a Divine Masculine who is wanting more insight for yourself or if you're a divine feminine and wanting to understand a little bit more about what's going on within your divine masculine's energy, um, this reading is for you. So uh, just diving right into the reading, we are using the Archangel Michael Sword of Light Oracle Cards by Ravi Valentine. And I've already shuffled, so we'll just get into it. All right. Someone new is coming. An important new relationship is on the horizon. Open your mind and heart so that happiness can enter your life. Divine Masculine. Um, and, you know, this looks like Twin Flames right here. And, you know, for Divine Feminines or Divine Masculines that are suddenly triggered out there that are like, does this mean that I have a false Twin Flame? Maybe, but not necessarily. Um, someone new is coming into your life could mean that, um, you know, you and your twin flame have done the healing work. Um, you know, you see miraculous changes within yourself. You see a, a transformation within yourself when you do the inner work uh, of the teachings of union, the Jeff and Chilia teach, the, the mirror exercise. When you do the inner work, you naturally see transformations within yourself and you kind of become a new person. Um, you become more aligned with your divine self, but you become that new person and you you change and so does your twin flame. So uh, things that you've experienced with your twin flame before, uh, if you've healed that at the core, you won't experience those things again. Um, if you've radically changed, if you start, have started loving yourself or you didn't love yourself before, and if you um, are, you know, doing, um, you know, things for yourself, setting boundaries, all of these things that you've, you've made new choices, you've decided to do things differently, you're holding your head high, you're um, treating yourself with respect or maybe you didn't before. All these places where you've healed, your twin flame's healed too. So this doesn't necessarily mean that you have a false twin flame and that there, someone else is coming into your life to, to date and uh, some new twin flame or whatever, or your true twin flame is coming in. Um, it just means that there's a new energy that you're being presented with, whether that be the person that you think that is your twin flame or your true twin flame. Um, if you're experiencing a false twin flame situation, there's that new energy that's coming in for, for you, Divine Masculine. Um, and, you know, just embrace it and be open to that as it arises. Um, I know that it can be scary, especially if you've had some bad experiences with uh, your twin flame that you might be a little apprehensive, like, oh, is this, are the patterns going to play out again? Um, and they don't have to. Right, like if you've healed, if you're choosing not to repeat those patterns, then um, you can have that peaceful, harmonious relationship that you are desiring. And the fact that these are like peace doves, you know, like just embrace the fact that um, you're you can move forward in peace with your twin flame, regardless of what the past is, and you can just let the past go. All right, the next card: get your power back. You have forgotten who you are. You are a divine child, or you are a child of the divine. So take back your power. Yeah, divine masculines, like it's time to, um, you know, really claim your power. And power um, is peace. Uh, just like the peace doves we got here, like claim your peace. Like that's what your twin flame is actually really attracted to, is when you're in peace and when you're in joy and when you're in love. Um, not when you're controlling or angry or upset or when you are in this place of feeling like you're powerless. Um, your twin flame doesn't like that. They don't really um, feel attracted to you in that way. Like they, they want a, a strong divine masculine who can weather the storms, right? 
um, of the relationship and emotions and upsets that come up along the way. You have to be, um, you know, you have to stay in your peace. And, you know, it's okay that if you find yourself like, oh, I fell out of my peace, now I'm upset. Like, it's okay. You have the, you can use the mirror exercise to make people through it. You can love yourself. And peace is just the choice of way. It's not, oh, I'll have peace when I've moved through these 75 different upsets that I have. Peace, you can always stay in, even when you're upset. So claim your peace, choose to be in your peace, even when you're upset. Um, and it'll actually help you move through it more quickly. All right, the next card. It's time to play. You're working too hard and worrying about everything. Seek out joyous experiences to bring balance or to bring balance into your life. Yeah, like um you know, it's important to work hard, but it's also work important to play hard too. Um don't sell yourself short, especially when you're manifesting miracles, when you're manifesting your union, when you're claiming your peace, like you're not going to stay in peace if you're working yourself to the bone. Um, you know, there is something about like working really hard. Um, it, it can be fulfilling and all of that, but you do have to take time to fill your cup and release any worry and tensions that you're holding on to. Um, so that you can like manifest your creations. If you're, if you're stressed out and you're uh, worried and you're anxious, that really pushes away love and pushes away your twin flame. So when you're in that place of peace and love and joy and you're filled up because you've played and you've filled your cup, um, that will also help you um, manifest your union. All right, one more card and then the bottom of the deck. So um, the next card is increase your knowledge. Education brings opportunities. Take a course, pick up a book, or find a mentor to teach you what your soul longs to know. And Divine Masculine, I feel like this is a time of, you know, this is, you know, increase your knowledge. This is a time of study. What is it that you want to do for your life purpose? What, because that is a very key factor in your union. You can't just come together and play house with your twin flame like that doesn't really um, provide the purpose and the foundation for your union if you really want a strong harmonious union and you want your union to thrive you come together in purpose and shared purpose that's what your twin flame finds super juicy is that you get to partner together not just in love but in life in what you're meant to do and it doesn't have to be that you're both um, doing the exact same thing, but when you are doing something that you're um, enjoying and you love, and just like with the play, if you're doing work that you do enjoy and love and you are um, increasing your knowledge in that space so that you can go deeper into your life purpose, um, your twin flame is really attracted to that. So don't shy away from... Um, from doing those things. Uh, it's not a waste of time to better yourself or to do something that your soul is calling you to do. Even if it doesn't make any sense right now, maybe it's like calling you to study something that you're not really doing for your career, but maybe it has a purpose for you in the long term. So don't shy away from those things. Allow yourself to follow your heart and uh, learn more about what excites you. All right. And the last card is be the real you. Um, your greatest power comes from being who you truly are. Don't let anyone sway you from expressing your authentic self. Um, and I think this can't be stated enough, um, is that your twin flame loves you being you. Not you being a curated version of you, but you who are you, <laughs> you know? like. Not, um, I'm gonna try to be nice or I'm gonna people please or I'm gonna try to not, uh, be mad when I am mad or, you know, I'm gonna try to say the right thing. No, that never works with your twin flame. It only pushes you further away from them because they're gonna mirror where you're not really being true to yourself. They're gonna show you that in some way. Um, so, you know, follow your heart. Be yourself and 
you know, that's how you're really going to have a thriving relationship with yourself. And it may seem scary at first because it's like, if you haven't really opened yourself up to someone being very authentic, or you've tried to compromise yourself in past relationships to try to make them work, um, you know, it can be scary to really be your true self with someone. It can be very intimate. And so be gentle with yourself as you're opening yourself up in this space, but it's really safe to be the true you. And even if you trigger your twin flame temporarily because you said something and they had to go off and mirror it, or maybe they got upset and they had to, and they got mad and they blocked you, like know that you being your true authentic self, like um, they always love that. Even if they're triggered, that's just something for them to mirror and uh, heal through. And even if they're not actively doing the inner work, um, they'll move through it in their own way as you move through your upsets um, and heal. So this is a great reading, uh, Divine Masculine. Just remember to be yourself and do the things that you enjoy. It looks like things are coming together, uh, but you know you do need to honor these aspects of yourself and find balance throughout um, your journey and throughout this week. Um, so you know it, it's looking pretty good. Just keep going in your healing and uh, be yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and su subscribe for more and ring that notification bell to uh, be notified anytime uh, there is a new video uploaded. If you would like support or you'd like your own personalized card reading, you can find my services at sacredtwinflameunion.com and I will see you in the next video.